So Google has released the Pixel 4a, which makes it an upgrade from the Pixel 3a from last year. The question is how much of an upgrade when it comes to performance? Well, let's find out. And also you now get me in the videos. Love to hear what you think about that in the comments below. So we have the Pixel 4a with the Snapdragon 730G on the left hand side. We have the Pixel 3a with the Snapdragon 670 on the right hand side. Obviously the Pixel 3a came out in 2019. The Pixel 4a is an upgrade to 2020 device over the previous mid-range device from Google, the Pixel 3a. And as we're saying that we're in the JSON test on the left hand side, while we're still in the SQL light test, it's unusual for a device to have such a lead at this point in the test, oh, at least half a test lead. It's now in the compression test on the left, and it's still going through the JSON test on the right hand side. Now, we expect the Pixel 4a, of course, to be faster than the Pixel 3, but by how much? So we're looking at a 600 series device on the right hand side and a 700 series on the left hand side. Is that just marketing? Is that just numbers? Or will it actually make a difference? I'm saying that the Pixel 4a is now into the 16 thread test, while the Pixel 3a is still in the compression test, zipping up those files, unzipping them, zipping them up again, testing both the CPU and the storage. As the Pixel 4a has now left the 16 thread test, it's now gone into the blur test, which is the beginning of the mixed CPU GPU part of the test, as the Pixel 3a on the right hand side has now gone into the 16 thread test. And the left hand side, we now see the infinite scrolling this and we can see the smoke particle test in a moment but the pit 3a is significantly behind now at this point and again it's quite early on for such a lead uh, to be taken by the 4a so there's obviously a difference a big difference between the 670 and the 730 what's a frame rate 18 17 frames a second on the left hand side we'll see what that is when we come to the pixel 3a in a moment that white dot on the screen for the pixel 4a is just an overhead light that was reflecting it's not dead pixels or anything like that as the pixel 4a is now in to the unity test going through that flyover as on the right hand side we are now into the infinite list which means the smoke particle test will be coming up any moment now in fact there it is coming up on the 3a let's see what the frame rate is as the pixel 4a continues its way through the flyover it's now going to the end of the valley and then it will go into the unreal test 11 frames in oh dear oh dear 11 frames a second that's not what i was expecting there that's quite low for the 3a and the 4a is now going into the Unreal test while the 3A is just about, come on, black screen, come on, show me some graph, there we go, is going into the uh, unity test. So a whole big test difference there, 3D test. So let's just talk about the difference in the processors here. Of course, we have the Snapdragon 730 on the left hand side, that's got the Adreno 618. And on the Pixel 3A, we've got the Snapdragon 670 with the Adreno 615, 615, 618. Is that much of a difference? Well, we'll see when we get to the final scores. There we go, two minutes 38.4 for the Pixel 4a, while the Pixel 3a is still in the unity test. We've got the whole Unreal test to come yet, so this could be quite a significant win by the Pixel 4a, meaning if you're looking at performance, the upgrade from the 3a to the 4a could certainly be worthwhile. Let's see what the final times are before we get that. So there we go, into the Unreal test now on the right-hand side. And as I was saying, there is also a difference in the CPUs because on the right hand side, we've got two Cortex A75 cores and then six Cortex A55. On the left hand side, we have two Cortex A76 cores and then six Cortex A55. So different in A55 and uh, A, uh, sorry, A75 and A76. So that's obviously a difference here, significant difference. We're seeing the overall performance here. We're way over three minutes, almost three and a half minutes at this point. And the uh, Pixel, of course, finished in two minutes and 38.4. So is it going to be at least a minute? Yes, it's gone over a minute difference between the two. This is quite interesting. What's the final time going to be? Come on, get to the end now. Come on, what's it going to be? There we go. Three minutes, 41.4. Okay, let's break down the scores and see exactly what happened. Okay, so as we saw there, a win by the Pixel 4a, quite convincingly, 2 minutes 38.4, and then the Pixel 3a came in 63 seconds later, 3 minutes 41.4. So what happened? CPU 58.9 versus 1 minute 22.4. So that's a lead of 23 and a half seconds for the Pixel 4a. So just for CPU alone, if you don't do any gaming, that's certainly a major upgrade from the 3a to the 4a. When we get to the mixed CPU, GPU 32.6 for the Pixel 4a, 
44.8 for the Pixel 3, a difference of 12.2 seconds, not so big there, but still a, a definitely an increase for the Pixel 4a in performance, an increase in performance. And then finally, when we get to the GPU, 1 minute 6.8 for the Pixel 4a, 1 minute 34.2, so that's a difference of 27.4 seconds. So again, a significant improvement in the Pixel 4a. When you add up all those times, the Pixel 4a one, 2 minutes 38.4. My name is Gary Sims, this is SpeedTestG, I really hope you enjoyed these videos, if you did please do give it a thumbs up and to tell me what do you think about having me here in these videos. Okay that's it, I'll see you in the next one.